Sarcomas are rare cancers that originate in bone and connective tissue. There are around 5,300 people diagnosed every year in the UK. There are over 100 subtypes of sarcoma, which fit into two main types, soft tissue sarcoma and bone sarcoma. In this video, we'll be going through both. Let's start with soft tissue sarcoma. Soft tissue sarcomas develop in the supporting and connective tissues in the body, including the muscle, nerves, tendons, blood vessels, and fatty and fibrous tissues. While they can appear anywhere in the body, they tend to affect the arms, legs, and trunk. They can also appear in the stomach, intestines, behind the abdomen, and in the female reproductive system. So what to look out for? Well, the main symptom of soft tissue sarcoma is a lump which is growing, changing, or bigger than a golf ball. But there can be other symptoms. People may have stomach pain, feel sick, have a loss of appetite, or feel full after eating only a small amount of food. They can also have blood in either their poo or vomit. That's soft tissue sarcoma. Now, let's look at bone sarcoma. Bone sarcoma, also known as primary bone cancer, can affect any bone, but tends to develop in the long bones of the arms or legs. The main symptom to look out for is swelling, tenderness or pain in or around the bone. These symptoms may come and go, and may be worse at night. People can also have a noticeable lump over a bone. So, how would we diagnose a sarcoma? Diagnosing sarcoma early can make a big difference to outcomes. Patients with a suspected bone sarcoma should be referred for an urgent x-ray, and patients with a suspected soft tissue sarcoma should be referred for an urgent ultrasound. If sarcoma is suspected, patients should be referred to one of the 17 specialist sarcoma centres across the UK. Sarcoma care is complex and unlike other types of cancer treatment, and patients treated by a specialist sarcoma team have better outcomes. How do we treat sarcoma? The most common treatment used for sarcoma is surgery. The goal of this surgery is to remove all the cancer cells. Sometimes this requires amputation of an arm or leg to remove all the cancer. But the function of the limb is preserved whenever possible. Depending on the subtype of sarcoma, radiotherapy and chemotherapy can also be given, either before or after surgery. Using these treatment methods can sometimes reduce the risk of the sarcoma coming back. They might also be used if surgery isn't possible or if the tumor can't be completely removed. Other treatments like targeted therapy immunotherapy and ablation therapy are starting to become available for sarcoma. That's a lot of information. Shall we recap? As a reminder, sarcomas are rare cancers of the bone and connective tissue. Soft tissue sarcomas develop in the supporting and connective tissues in the body, and the main symptom is a lump. Bone sarcomas develop in the bone, and the main symptom is swelling, tenderness or pain in or around the bone. When sarcoma is suspected, the patient should be referred to a sarcoma specialist center. They will most likely have surgery, although they may have other treatment options offered too.